So here we're going to look at setting up NVIDIA Surround um, with three widescreen monitors. We're going to be using the 384.94 Wickel driver that was just released here at the end of July 2017. So I've already gone through and double checked my Windows display properties. All three monitors are active and I've identified them and they're in the right order here. So from this point, I'm just going to right click on the desktop, click NVIDIA control panel. And the first thing it brings up or the default screen is configure surround and physx. So I can see via the physx window here that all three of my monitors are connected. So I'll be able to get uh, the proper configuration I want through the three display port connections. So all I'll do is click here under surround configuration where it says span displays with surround and click configure. Now it's asking me to close a number of programs. So I'll close Chrome, that'll drop out. And then I will close the LG uh, display program. I'll close GOG and I will close Discord. Now I will note that in working through this and preempting for the video, a couple of times it asked me to close programs I thought I had already closed or had, but the processes were still running. Uh, most notably the calculator app for some reason. So it's normal for this program, for the surround configuration to ask you to close apps and processes, even if you don't think they're running, don't be surprised. Just go into task manager um, and close them if you need to there, and then you can click continue to proceed. So from here, it's gonna give you a little window where it's identifying your monitors. Uh, here it's doing me a three, two, one from left to right. It's telling me my topology is a one by three, so one row by three monitors. All three of my Dell monitors are here. The resolution is gonna be the 7860 by 1440, 60 hertz, and I could uh, set the bezel correction. It's giving me that option, but I'm not going to, and I'll point out in a moment uh, why I'm saving that for kind of a step two. So I'm gonna click Enable Surround. The monitors will blank out and come back. Um, here I'll see like a one and a two, and it'll throw up that it's not responding and look like it's hanging for a moment, but then it'll sort of catch its breath and be finished. And it'll show the three, two, one again, It'll show the windows, and you know it's done when it does that, and it puts your taskbar just on the center screen here. Now here is one reason that I don't do the bezel compensation on the uh, first or single step, is that it tends to throw these two windows across the bezel, which uh, breaks up the image that you use and makes it harder to do, in my opinion. So I'm going to cancel there, move this window off, then click Configure again, brings it back up, and now I can click in here and it throws this picture of a road going through a countryside. We got some trees and some white lines and a yellow dashed line that makes it easy to align. And I'll click in, say 50. That's not enough. Say 60, 70, 80. Now we're getting closer. The other reason I don't do this in the first step is that for some reason, these buttons here are grayed out or they don't work. So once you get a rough estimate by typing in, then you can just do the up and down arrows and you're all set. So for this, this example, I'll just do 85. I can click the other window here. You'll know, see it throws the image here and it highlights the other bezel. If you don't have matched monitors, then you can click the unlink and do them independently. But I've got matched monitors, so I'm gonna click apply. Now I've done this a couple of times and I will say, do the bezel correction first, because if you then go to set your custom resolutions after, um, or first, I should say, if you set the resolutions and then do bezel correction, like the AMD Affinity setup, bezel correction tends to toss out your custom resolutions and go back to the defaults. So we're good here, we're set. Now if I go to the Windows display settings again, and I look at the available resolutions, 
It's giving me my native 7860 by 1440, which is 3 by 1440p. And then it's giving me two resolutions here, a 4189 by 768, a 4098 by 768, and then a, uh, a few other things here. And I believe these are uh, the bezel corrected versions of the 4098 by 768 and the 3072 by 768. Um, neither one of those look appealing because they'd be really low resolution. At least one of them is off aspect ratio because they've got different widths but the same height. So what I'm gonna do to fix that is I'm still gonna stay in this window and under resolutions, I'm gonna click this little button that has the window and the plus. There's no helper text that doesn't tell you what it does when you mouse over, but if you click that, you'll see that we can choose our surround resolutions that will show up in Windows. So we have our inactive ones on the left and our active ones on the right. We have our in use, which is our native, and then the bezel corrected. And so I am going to uh, click left arrow here and toss away those resolutions. And then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna pick the uh, 1080p resolution. 5760 by 1080p, and then I'm going to click the corresponding uh, bezel corrected resolution, and then I'm going to get the uh, 4800 by 900, and then its corresponding uh, bezel corrected resolution as well. Now, going down to 1900p times three is probably a bit of a drastic step to take, if your performance is really that bad, I would suggest turning down your graphic options. But one thing to note is that while AMD Affinity only offers you its max resolution, the native resolution, and a very minimal resolution, which was along the lines of those 3x720 or 3x768p and one in the middle, the NVIDIA setup here gives you your native in whatever custom intermediate resolutions you want. So while I don't ever think I would take advantage of the 900 here, maybe if for some crazy reason you're doing triple 4K panels, maybe you do want 1440p times three and 1080p times three, which would be two more intermediate resolutions. So I'm gonna click okay. It'll blank out a couple of times. And we're set. Now I know from doing this that um, those resolutions are not gonna uptick here the first time. So we'll go ahead and close this out. We'll apply the changes and then a reboot will lock those resolutions in. So just like on the AMD Affinity setup, when you center the taskbar in the middle, your windows still show up on the outside edge. That appears to be a limitation of the Windows 10 operating system and not either AMD or um, NVIDIA. So we'll dive into our display settings here and we will see we've got everything locked in our recommended, um, which with AMD, the recommended is actually the single screen display, but our recommended, our bezel compensated, and then our two other resolutions and their bezel compensated options there. So we've just gone through a configuration of NVIDIA Surround with three matching widescreen monitors, and I thought it would be a good idea to do a quick comparison of NVIDIA Surround setup and configuration experience to that of AMD Affinity. So the short and easy answer is that if you're looking for traditional normal 3 by one landscape, NVIDIA Surround is hands down the better experience. Um, from the... The top level menu in the NVIDIA control panel, all of your settings are available, whether it's your intermediate or custom resolutions of which you can have more than one, or bezel compensation, everything is there. You can do everything and have it locked in with one reboot as long as you do your bezel compensation first and then uh, your custom resolutions, which is just like we saw with AMD Affinity. So in this experience and in this uh, decision-making uh, choice, if you're really on the fence between a particular NVIDIA card or AMD card, and to you, all things are equal, all other things are equal, your experience 
of setting up a multi-monitor configuration, a single large surface, being able to configure that and make changes um, as you go forward is going to be much better on the NVIDIA surround. However, if you're looking for something that is a little bit off the beaten path, that's different than the three matching monitors um, in landscape or portrait, if you're looking for five by one portrait, if you're looking uh, more commonly for a mixed resolution, uh, mixed aspect ratio, like an ultra wide in the middle, flanked with wide screens on the side, then um, AMD Affinity is gonna be your only choice. Um, NVIDIA still doesn't support those configurations, nor does it support POP, Portrait Landscape Portrait. Um, AMD Affinity still claims to support it. There looks to be something broken in the driver, but at this point, I'm gonna call it an issue versus lack of support. Um, so off the beaten path, non-standard, um, unique configurations, AMD is gonna be your only choice, but for a standard three by one configuration, again, NVIDIA has hands down the better experience uh, between NVIDIA Surround and AMD Affinity.